Okay, I am delighted to welcome Peter Madison here with us. He is the chair of our uh, Village Board of Ethics. Welcome, Peter. I, Thank you. I have just, a, I'll start with a pretty open-ended question. What does the Board of Ethics do? Okay, what we do is we respond, we evaluate um, complaints or, uh, well, I wouldn't say complaints necessarily, it's sometimes they're complaints, but we evaluate possible ethical violations of village employees or officials that are brought to our attention. Now, our, um, uh, our function is advisory. We are not a deciding board. So what we do is we take a look at the um, information that is given to us. And if necessary, we have a hearing where we invite people in to explain who they are, why they did what they're doing and so forth. And then we compare what we have learned with the village code of ethics. And then we make a recommendation to the village board on what it is we think happened and what we think their response should be. Now, we are not, although the code of ethics is what we work from, we are not 100% constrained by it because there is a legal principle, um, which I'm sure you have heard, that we should avoid the appearance of impropriety. And those languages, that language appears nowhere in the code of ethics, but we have on occasion, in fact, you may remember it from one fairly recent opinion we gave, uh, where the conduct under discussion, in some respects, wasn't a strictly a violation of the code of ethics, but we thought it should be avoided anyway because it didn't look good. And so th that's pretty much what we do. Right. And, uh, and I'll just clarify for anyone. So um, I've been around long enough that I've gotten to see uh, the Board of Ethics in action, well, although, although to say in action, I don't get to see your meetings, but uh, the, 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 the thoughtful work that you provide. And um, often that is responding to um, concerns and questions raised by community members, but it can also come from us where we can just say, hey, we're not sure um, what, the, what the best way for us to handle a situation is. Um, can you give us an advisory opinion, which I think is actually the, the, the most recent one that you were referencing. Uh, yeah. That's sort of a situation here, which is inevitable because uh, we're a small community and people are involved in, in many different things, uh, whether you, know, you have a spouse who's also an elected office or you have a family member who also owns a business or you have some organization you're involved in. So things come up, there's a lot of questions and we're grateful to have you, uh, your group to, to help us think through um, what could all the implications mean and, and, and whether it's strictly uh, within compliance with our code of ethics or other considerations like you were referencing. So um, uh, you are probably one of the, uh, the least visible for good reason of uh, boards and committees, um, but how, can, how has uh, the board of ethics impacted the Austin community? Well, I think our impact is more on the, the community of the Board of Ethics, I mean, of the Village of Ossining officials more than on the, the community itself. Um, but what we do with the officials, first, we save time. We are volunteers. And I know that the time of the board and other village elected and otherwise officials is is precious and this is a time consuming task. So we do take it off your table. And the other thing we do is we, uh, we help the village board avoid conflicts of interest in that if a complaint is made about the ethics of one of your colleagues, you may be conflicted about that. Oh, I really like this person. I think she's wonderful. I don't know what to do about this. That is not on your plate. You have our opinion and you can do with it what the village decides, but you don't have to, uh, you don't have to be concerned about that type of a conflict. So those are the two things, the two biggest things I think we do for the community. Yes, you do provide that objectivity. Which brings us into our next question in a way, um, because uh, the last question is, um, who would be a good candidate to fill the uh, anticipated vacancy on the Board of Ethics? And um, 
as, in, as is the case with some uh, boards and committees and is very much the case in the Board of Ethics, we have um, some uh, restrictions on, on who, can, uh, who can serve. We need a certain number of lawyers. We have a certain number of seats that can be non-lawyers and a certain number of seats that can be outside of the village of Austin residents. Um, so why don't you just tell us generally, what is, what is, what is if somebody's going to consider, should I even apply for it? Um, who, who should be, who should be uh, in that way? What, what would be a valuable, um, a valuable set of characteristics or skills that can be brought to the Board of Ethics? Oh, well, I, I think I, there's a friend, he's a friend of mine, so you can full disclosure, but um, I thought of him right away. Um, don't say his, his name, name no, don't, don't say his name. Don't say his name. Oh, okay. No. Um, it's just generally for people to, to food for thought. Okay. They want to consider He's, he's uh, a local guy uh, and he is uh, very knowledgeable and uh, he is knowledgeable about the law without necessarily being admitted to the bar. Um, and that can be explained in another forum, uh, but he is somebody that I thought of would be ideal for this because he would bring the necessary, necessary skill set to the Board of Ethics without running afoul of your um, whatever requirements you have about lawyers. Because I, I know uh, during my time, we have been top heavy with lawyers. Uh, and uh, I think. Uh, one of our members wasn't a lawyer, but she she left and she moved away, I think, after her husband died. I think you know who I'm talking about. And then um, I'm not sure if the new the newest person is a lawyer or not, but everybody else is. Um, so that, that's um, right now, I think four out of the five members are lawyers. Uh, so you may want to reduce that by one if you can. <laughs> well, um, I, 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 sadly, you are going to be departing. So, uh, but not, sad for us, not sad for you. You're moving on to a new chapter of your life. So you're actually um, the, the creating the vacancy. Otherwise, we were very pleased to have a nice, fully constituted board of ethics. And um, so thank you very much for, for serving in this role and for uh, giving us a little insight into the Board of Ethics. And uh, it, it is inherently going to be top heavy with lawyers um, just because of the way that it's written in the code. So um, as we are considering who, who might join us, we'll, we'll do a quick review and make sure what our numbers are of lawyers, non-lawyers, residents, non-residents. But for now, I, I think um, it sounds like you're, we're looking for somebody who's um, uh, willing to be thoughtful and um, really explore things and ask questions and, and is... Uh, is uh, willing to um, uh, to work with this nice group of people to uh, to help make sure that that everything in the village is is on the up and up. Good. Now, may I echo your sentiments about being sorry to see you go and moving on to a new chapter in your life? Um, while I like Rika and I think she'll be a fine mayor, at the same time, we are sorry to see you go. And I don't know if it's because of a choice or term limits, because I don't, I never looked into it. No term limits, what it, my choice. It was just my choice, no term limits. Uh, well, whatever the reason, uh, I wish you very well in your future endeavor and uh, all the best. And I hope Rika works out to be as good a mayor as you have been. Well, thank you very much, Peter. I wish uh, you all the best and Rita all the best as well. I think um, everybody's got some exciting things ahead of them. Thank you yeah. very much. Well, my exciting thing coming up is retirement. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> I, I've got a little, a little ways yet to go, but <laughs> before I get to that stage, thank you. So I'm going to be going to retire to skiing, sailing, making music. <laughs> oh, that does sound great. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, Peter.